my suggestion to <coughs> those of you who are suffering from ups and downs is give up any idea you have that you can control life to go your way. Give that idea up. It's an idea. Sit with yourself, talk to yourself, and come to terms of giving up the idea of trying to make things, manipulating things to go your way. Now, okay, let me explain this part. We all try to do that. Don't take me wrong. I want things to go my way. Of course I want things to go my way. I'm trying to do my things. I do the best I can for things to go my way like everyone else, anyone else who's being successful in their lives, they're trying to make things to go in a successful way, which is their way. The difference between awakened being, a free being, and an ordinary person who suffers is this. Someone who's free or awakened, they're not attached to the results. They're not invested and attached to the results. You do the best you can to make something happen to go your way without any attachment to the results. If you're really attached to the result that I'm investing, putting so much time for this thing to go my way, and then if it doesn't go my way, I'm going to be miserable, then you're going to suffer. Suffering is going to come. But if you don't have attachments to the result, then how could negative, if results don't go your way, or not go your way, if they don't go your way, how could you be suffering? You're not attached to the results. You are surrendered to whatever life is going to give you. You did your best to make this happen, but you're also surrendered to whatever results existence is going to give you because you trust existence you trust God, you trust the Spirit that always is going to do what's the best because existence no much, no better than you and I. The existence is the source of bringing billions of billions of people, trillions of people before you and I were born. Something has been managing, there's a big management happening, all these people come to life and all these people go. All these planets are turning around each other. None of them run into each other. In my life, I have not experienced Earth runs into Mars. I don't know. It's never happened in a few thousand years of recorded history that one of these planets run into another planet. So something knows to manage these things. And then always days to turn to nights and nights turn to days. Yeah, I understand if you live in the Arctic, you may go through six months or four months of no day or no night, but I'm talking about the rest of the planet. Days turn to nights, nights turn to days. Winter turns to spring, spring turns into summer. Summer turns into fall. Something's managing it. It's definitely not me and it's not you. Okay. So why don't we trust this thing that is managing everything? Why don't we trust and surrender to it and let it do its thing? And... I have a desire to make things happen to go my way. 
I have a desire that every time I put a workshop or a retreat to be successful, okay? I never put a workshop or a retreat with this preconception notion that, oh, I hope my retreat to turn to be a disaster. You know, I hope my workshop to be a disaster. I'm going to marry this woman, this girl, and I hope that we divorce after two years. I'm hoping that she cheats on me. I'm going to buy this building downtown Los Angeles. I hope in three years I go bankrupt and I lose all my money. You never do anything with that intention. You're always doing it with the intention of success, hoping things go your way. But things don't always go your way. Sometimes go your way, sometimes they don't. But if you cultivate and develop this attitude that even if things don't go my way, I trust life, I trust the manager that manages life that they know better than I do. And there's a wisdom to it that things didn't go my way. Therefore, I surrender and I accept the final decision. The final decision is God's decision. I surrender to that one. Then your life becomes very easy. Then you can't suffer. Suffering becomes impossible. And why suffer when you can avoid it? But in order to avoid it, you have to change your mentality. A, that's one way, changing your mentality, changing your view of looking at things. B, is you have to find to be collected and centered because if you just say, I surrender, it's mental. It's not really, you don't really mean it. It's just something you're saying it. But you have to rely on something to surrender. That means you have to find your own center. You have to find you, the observer inside you, that is not move, changing. It's still and connecting to that. And by bringing your attention to that part of yourself, which is present, presence, and keeping your attention on that part of yourself, then you start to experience the presence in your life in every moment. You start to experience that really spirit is around you all the time. God is around you all the time. That you're worthy of living in this life. 